jeez. Nope. 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 I ran into some monolith. Uh, and I don't have the ammo to fight them, so I am just... I am just running away. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, I get it, I get it, I get it. Thank God you guys can't shoot from very far. Your, your laser beam's up close, but from far away. They're like stormtroopers. Okay. I think I'm far enough. Hey guys, Drewski here. Uh, we've got a Gauss rifle in our backpack, and it's not what we're gonna use today. We're gonna be doing some main quest line stuff for Stalker. I'm just doing a playthrough late at night. It's 1.20 in the morning in Texas. Thought I might play some Stalker, and uh, just bring you guys along for the video. How are you doing? How's your life going? Let me know in the comments down below. I do try to read comments every now and then, especially on these videos, because I know you guys, you guys click on these like three times more than my other gameplays. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. You guys have your tastes, I can tell. Uh, bad taste, in fact. Oh crap, there's music. I'm gonna have to cut this because it's copyright. Hey Rogue, take Rogue? a look at this. Yes, we'll see. Hmm, that's the gun, not bad. I've expected you to disappear without a trace. Okay, what exactly do you want? Uh, I just want to talk to Strelok. Yep, alright, cool. Yeah, last episode was interesting. We were super high kitted. That was at the end of one of my playthroughs. Now we're doing another one with a bit more hard difficulty settings. This is all on hard difficulty, by the way. Hello, Monolith guy. Just chilling by himself. Is he goaded with the sauce? Oh, the AKM with suppressor is muy bueno, by the way. Muy bueno. I mean, look at this. Whew. If you take the suppressor off. They just got a, I don't know which, ooh, that's actually not bad, 92% barrel. Um, I don't know which update it was in particular, but there was an update to Stalker Gamma that added the best gun sounds on the planet. Let me take off the, the suppressor on this thing and show you what the AKM sounds like unsuppressed. You ready? You ready for this? <laughs> I don't have much ammo, so I don't want to shoot too much, but damn, that sounds good, dude. We do have this APS, which is fun. Uh, if I load it with, oh no, I am loaded with hollow points. Wow, that guy took two rounds. It's fully auto. Fully auto 9x18, so this is basically fully automatic Makarov. Kind of neat. As this video releases, I will be probably on the set of Stalker Shadow of the Zone, where, uh, oh, my cat just woke up very suddenly. It's okay, but, uh, <laughs> he just woke up, like, jump scared. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, we're filming, uh, if you didn't know, with Evan Rolte, Stephen Hancock, the guys who did the SCP Overlord movie. I'm also working on the Shadow of the Zone movie. It was successfully kickstarted, if you didn't hear. It was actually more than successful. Oh, oh, hello, ecologist man. My HUD isn't popping up. Is, is this my HUD's to say? I don't know. He's just an ecologist man. And there's some rats here. Good thing we have a gas mask. Wonder what his story is. Let's go up and see. But, uh, yeah, we're going to a power plant to film. And the sleeping situation, I think, is we have, like, portable sleeping buildings being brought out or something. Little, little, probably barracks, barracks sort of buildings, but... If I can sneak into the power plant and take a sleep sleep in there without anybody knowing, I hope none of them watch this video before I go. I'm gonna sleep in the power plant one night, and nobody's gonna know it. So I need to find three artifacts, his memory module. Okay, uh, got it. That is a complex mission that I've never done before. Oh shit! Hello, hello, monolith, buddy. You're you're an ecologist. Are you okay with this? I'm gonna let you take the brunt of whatever attack is about to come up the stairs, because we are not in good shape here, and I'm going to heal. Yep, gonna heal. Do I have a tourniquet? I don't. I think they're about to come up the stairs, too. There's like a new depth of field effect that happens. I don't think he's actually, they're not even looking at him. He might not be hostile at all, even to Monolith. That's not lore accurate, but you know what? Oh, hello. He was looking down. That was cool. He's looking at the doorway he just walked through. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, it's a zombie. It's really hard to see with this, like, kind of radioactive film grain. Gosh, this AK sounds so good. Yeah, the, uh, most recent Gamma update. Um, definitely, definitely gave us some cool sounds. I turned the music on. The, uh, recent updates have brought some really, really cool music into the background of the game. I think people made custom music for Stalker uh, Anomaly. As well as, ooh, Pseudo Giant. Oh! And Freedom. There's some, uh, I think that's Freedom. Yep, that's Freedom. Freedom all the way up in Zaton. That's what's crazy, man. Those guys are definitely gonna die. This, you're not the main character in this. Like, you can just be on a hillside, chilling out for a second, taking a little chat, taking a little look, see at the pond down below. And there's two Freedom guys just getting messed up by a pseudo giant. You're not the main character. And there's uh, Mercs coming. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, there's a zombie there. And there's a fountain. Where I heard footsteps. There's multiple footsteps. What's there? It's small. I think I saw it. I don't know. What was just walking there? What was... I feel like I'm hearing growling. Drink some water really quick. Okay. What? Oh, it's pigs! <laughs> oh, the, the blur wall for loading is not great. I thought it'd be cinematic. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm going to disable that really quick. Yeah, I don't know why. I've been brought back into memories of, like, high school recently. I don't really know why. I, I think it's, I think this time of year, like, Christmas time and stuff always brings me back because it just... I always liked Christmas time as a kid because not just because it was Christmas, but because I also got out of school for two weeks at like the most important time of the year, which is when I got new video games or like got new airsoft gear to go play airsoft with my buddies. Like uh, when I was in my teens, mostly what I wished for was either I would usually get like for Christmas and my birthday is December 24th. I would get uh oh, there's doggos. I'd, I'd, I'd ask my parents to grab me, like, uh, you know, a cool airsoft gun or something. And, um, so I'd get, like, little UTG L96s or... Gosh, we're encountering a lot today. What was that sound? I heard something in there. Yeah, or I'd get, like, a... I remember one time, one, one Christmas that I remember a lot. My dad got me an Xbox steering wheel. And I think I got Forza 3 on the 360, and I have never been more immersed. That was like virtual reality. Oh, we've got some uh, lurkers up ahead. Lurkers and a pseudo dog right below it, I think. Okay. I'm gonna avoid that by going to the right. I wanna save all my ammo for Pripyat and stuff. Oh, so much shooting. That pseudo dog is coming our way. I don't, I don't want any part in that. I just knifed on accident. I'm the fastest running man in the west. Oh, there's a pseudo dog over there too. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about, you aren't the main character. I'm gonna title that the video. Like, there's so much that goes on. Just when walking around in Stalker, it keeps the game interesting. It keeps it alive. It's cool, like every time I go to Jupiter, every time I go to Zaton, every time I go even in Corden, it's, it's different. Every single time there's different stuff. And like slowly, especially if you have dynamic factions on, the factions and what places they control really get dynamic. If you go raid a place, usually it's replaced by friendly forces. This game is neat. This game is so cool, man. 
I'm still getting entertainment out of it. I don't know how many hours I've spent in now. Probably like 300. There's still new stuff coming to the game. It's still fun to be had. Lag spikes to be hiccuped at. Yeah, I had like a Xbox 360 steering wheel. I had Forza, uh, Forza 3, not Horizon 3. And that was like so cool. I played that all, I played that all Christmas Day. All Christmas Day. I don't know what my siblings really got for Christmas that often. I never really paid attention. I remember Allie probably got... Allie got like Assassin's Creed one time or something. I think she got Assassin's Creed 2. She really wanted Assassin's Creed. So we got it. And then we got into Assassin's Creed because of Allie. Oh man. Oh no. That was a big guy. Uh oh. Oh, that's the pseudo dogs. It's the pseudo dogs making me wince. All right, let's get over here. There's some zombies at the door. We're gonna go through the underground to outskirts. I don't want to go through trip yet. Ouch. Pseudo dogs? No. Okay, no pseudo dogs. Ouch. God, they're making me wince and flinch though. Hello? Oh, there's another guy. Some zombies blocking the way. Oh, I hear footsteps. Like a live footsteps. There might be monolith in here. Okay, as long as I'm finding zombies, I'm gonna use FMJ. I'm 18. Just so I don't waste the nice 762 ammo. Yeah, and I remember uh, most of the main games I got were for Christmas because I never really had like much cash to go and buy games myself. I remember Battlefield 4 I also got for Christmas. I got the Xbox One and Battlefield 4 for Christmas one time. As it was the first year that the Xbox One was available. My parents wouldn't get me the games, or I wasn't like allowed, I don't think, to get the games, even if I had money for them. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think my mom wanted me to wait till Christmas or something. But, uh, so all my friends would get access to these games before I would. But one game that I had decent access to pretty early on in its, its lifetime was <laughs> Battlefield 4. So I spent a lot of time with Battlefield 4. That was a game that I almost played consistently solo and it was like my introduction into first person shooters oh wow he did not oh it's a zombie okay that makes sense he was also standing inside of an electric anomaly so he must have spawned there and not move oh that's a new scream sound for that thing little rats running around all right flashlight on i thought i wasn't gonna need it but i kind of do it's dark in here I'm scared of the dark. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. So, huge new sound effects in this version of Gamma, apparently. Because... That was a totally different snork scream than I've heard before. We're gonna... AI2 this. I'm not sure if I like the, the, the depth of field blur effect. Take an Advil really quick. Oh yeah, I don't like that blur wall. And I gotta turn that off. Sorry, developer of that mod. I'm just, it like, I don't know, it kind of messes my brain a little bit. I see you, Snork. I see you over there. It's two Snorks. I don't think I can go through there safely. Oh no, I definitely can. I can go right there, right? I can go right there, 100%. Just kidding, can't go through there. Can't go through there safely, nope. Jumps through though, perfectly fine. Untouched. Snork's fun. Oh, two. No. I was like, this will be a fun little shortcut. Nope. Snork's everywhere around every corner. I'm already out of ibuprofen like two minutes in. This game is meant for much more intelligent people than oneself. Oh, wow. Now that I've watched the Stalker movie, this is... Is this an exact recreation of that, that tunnel that they walk through? No, it's not the same tunnel. This is why police don't trust witnesses. Immediately out of the gate, there are more snorks. I repeat, there are more snorks. There's another snork right here. Okay, I just shot the ground 18 times. Where's the other snork? There's the other snork. Nope. Not doing the dumb jumpy thing with me. I've learned. I've grown since we last met. My powers are much stronger. 
Oh, clear the monolith beachhead. Oh, I've, I'm gonna need ammo before I go. I'm gonna need to buy stuff. Wait, did the task just get complete? Are you kidding me? Did the task just complete itself because some mercs or something spawned near the monolith? And now I didn't get to have any fun? Did we just go to outskirts for nothing? Uh... Pretty, pretty good. We're all chill? Okay, cool. Um, and then there's pulley. Alright, uh, we're gonna repair this. You can use a snork mask to get better points? <laughs> what the heck? Okie dokie. We're out of there. Oh, that's the controller! Oh, sorry. Sorry for that sound. I'll put a little sound warning up. Probably. If I remember. He is coming up. Oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's actually jump scare me more than he did. Also, check out like the new running sound effects. Dude, there's I don't know what sound mod was added this update, but it sounds great. I love I, I really appreciate this over the Tarkov footsteps. Tarkov footsteps are really bad. They're better than the default game's footsteps by far, but still not great. Ho 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 ho. Okay, two headshots do the trick on snorks. I'm going to ask the guide in this place how much a trip to Jupiter will cost. So if I can, if I can just fast travel to Jupiter, I'd rather just pay that money instead of spend the money on bullets. Let's see how far you can take us. Nobody. Your guide, right? Guide me to Jupiter. Four thousand? Heck yeah, dude. Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in the spot where it said that I needed to clear the monolith. Hold up. Where are they? They're just outside to the north. Hello? <laughs> That's good timing. Okay. Let's see wherever the heck these monolith guys are at. So you're the designated area of any monolith fighters. What? Oh, you know what? It's not the monolith that are here. This is the mission complete. I am I'm dumb again. It's this guy. This is the objective. I go up to him. I say the job is done. That's the objective. There's no monolith here. I still don't understand how the rain after an mission is perfectly safe. It can't be safe. Uh, I don't know what that means, but yeah. The Yantar? Oh, it's two packages I have to deliver to Yantar. Heck yeah. Can you go past me, though? Could you walk... Past. I hear gunshots. If I'm in the upper floor of interchange and I hear gunshots, I am zooming. Who's down here? Loner? Oh, they're shooting uh, a cat. It's a cat. Man, listen to that sound effect. What does that guy have? Bolt action something? You got an SV up there? What do you got? Yeah, he's got an SV-98. Dude, that thing sounds so good. Listen to that sound. Whoa! The spicy air. What the? <laughs> it's. It's like Doppler effect on acid. Going back to my high school memories. Uh, fun fact the PC that started this channel uh, was. Uh, a PC that I bought along with my dad, I think. I think we paid 50-50 for it. Or, or so, no, I don't know what it was. I think I paid 50-50 with him for a graphics card or something. I don't know. Um, but the first PC I bought, the the cost that it took me to buy it, um, it was a it was it, we built it. We didn't buy it, but it was an i7 4770K with a GTX 970, um, and the 970 was. Advertised as a 3.5 gigabyte card, but if you if you were keen back then, you would have known that the 970 didn't come with actually 3.5 gigabytes. Nvidia fully lied about 3.5. I think it was just three. And so I got an email like five years back that was just saying, "Hey, if you can give us <laughs> your uh, your it was like a your your number of your card, we'll send you 50 bucks." I was like, "Heck yeah!" 
I got myself 50 bucks from a card that I totally had almost forgotten about, but I still had the card in my closet, so I was able to confirm that. Yep, I bought a 970. I got ripped off too. Nvidia must have had a big court case for that one. Not not often do you get an email that says, "Hey, we want to send you 50 bucks," and it's not some YouTube bot scam. Okay, you have to light the campfire to be able to spawn in it. Oh, did it just? Guess it died. Okay. Monolith. Uh, Goss rifle? Shit. Where's the Goss rifle at? That's not the Goss rifle. That's like a shotgun. There's Goss, man. Okay. Hmm. That's gonna be tough. If I can push up close. Meds. I think there's a lot more than I thought there was. I hear an exosuit. Shit. Whoa! Fun fact, Prativnica means enemy. I learned that, and if you know it, you actually hear it quite a bit in like Battlefield 4. I think it, and I think one of the voice lines in Battlefield 4 is Hostile Prativnica, which is, <laughs> I think it's a, uh, I think it's the, I mean, I know it's the Russian guy. It's the Russian faction that says it. It's just funny. Hostile enemy. Damn, dude, that exo. I, I can't shoot the exo in the torso. I don't know if it also. There we go. Got him. There we go. That might be it. They do like to sneak up on you, though. I just don't think they could get a good shot on me there. We got them, though. They're over the fence. Pretty sure they're over the fence. I'm gonna load the uh, APS with FMJ so we pin a little bit. I could load it with that AP ammo actually. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna need it. Oh, I guess I did load an AP ammo. Okay. Hmm. Did he see us? I don't know if he saw us. I missed. I missed the headshot. There we go. <laughs> Only took me five tries. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this soundtrack is sick. It's very gloomy. Rifle repair kit, cool. Is that thing bulletproof? He can't see through it either. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the Freedom Base, top up on uh, ammo and stuff. How much ammo do I got for this? 104 rounds. Not bad. And uh, see what we can do about this AK-74. This thing's pretty fun looking. I mean, look at it. Look at that. It just looks fun, doesn't it? Like, come on. Listen to it. What does the AK-74 sound like without a silencer? I wonder. Ooh. Dude, they... Oh, that on full auto is nice. That's all the ammo I have. What the hell? Snorks? And bandits? Alright, I'm gonna go out there and take a chance. Who's out there? Bandits! Bandits! Snorks!
Oh, the snork is coming. <laughs> oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Never mind. I might have gotten it. Oh, I got it. Oh. That was a little chaotic. It is, uh... It is now 3.44 a.m. in the morning. I think I started at 1.20. So, just to give you a little bit of insight of how much I cut, by the way, to make the videos not four hours long, um, however much time has passed in the video right now, I want you to put that into the context of however whatever the time code is in the video right now. I bet we're, what, 30 minutes in or something? We're nearing the end. I would guess. Oh, PDA, nice. Yeah, I, I've enjoyed doing these longer form videos because I realize you guys like them. I see the percentage of you guys that watch them through all the way through. So I was like, you know what? Why, why not go longer? Why not? Why not extend out the videos if I can only make one or two or you know three a week? Then why not make them longer? So if you haven't noticed, I've actually made videos longer. A lot of people are going to shorts. A lot of people are super excited about short form content and all that. And I don't really care about it. I'm just like, I don't know. I see that you guys enjoy the longer videos, and so I'm, I'm doing longer, man. You know, it's kind of a weird thing in today's age where people have attention spans of apparently five seconds, but I don't want to treat you like you have an attention span of five seconds. You're sitting down on the couch right now, you're watching this on your TV, you might be pooping right now. You know, and I respect that. I respect that you've been watching for this long. I don't want to feed you short form, short form content. There's a pseudo dog running at me. Can I dodge it? Whoop! Ha ha ha! Little stinker. Yeah, you little bitch. What, 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 what are you gonna do? Yo, he's angry now. He's angry. Whoop! Ha ha! What are you gonna do? Come on. Come on, I'll chase you. You can follow me all the way to Rookie Village. You won't get me. Man, when I was a kid. Sorry, I keep going back to high school memories for some reason right now. I'm getting the Fallout vibes or something. I don't know. But, uh. I had this RC airplane. This little foam RC airplane. I used to go out before school. And, uh, there's cats. Okay, I used to go up before school and it'd be like really cold outside. Oh, there's the cat. Oh, oh, it just got pulled up in the thing. Rest in peace, kitty. I don't know why my discovered thing. I, I reinstalled Gamma, but I don't think that affects my save. But it's acting like I just discovered that place. I've definitely been here before. This playthrough is like 30 hours in. But uh, yeah, I had this RC airplane. It was like this foam little red Delta Wing Dorito shaped sort of plane. No, no, no. It was a. Uh, it was this weird, it was a weird shape. It, it was like a stealth plane. It was like a kid's toy sort of RC plane, obviously. It wasn't like a serious RC plane. But, uh, yeah, I used to go out before school. I'd, ch I'd charge a little, uh, what was it, nickel? Was it nickel cadmium? I don't, I, I don't know what battery it was. It was, it was one before lithium polymer batteries really came out and became popular. But, uh, yeah, I had one of those old batteries, I'd plug it in the little cockpit, put the cockpit on top of it, and then I'd fly around, and it was so much fun. Just like, I don't know why. I have fond memories of before school, because after school I always had a bedtime, and I always felt like rushed. But what's funny, my parents gave me a bedtime, right? And they'd be like, okay, Jorini, be in bed by 8.30 or something. I thought, I always thought my parents gave me too early of a bedtime. Dad, if you're watching, you gave me too early of a bedtime. Um, cause I would stay up in bed for like two hours. I, I just didn't sleep that long. As long as they wanted me to. But, uh, what's funny, they never gave me a wake up time. So if they gave me a bedtime that was like 8.30pm or 9pm, I was like, that's dumb. I'm just gonna wake up at 4.30 in the morning and play Xbox. <laughs> so, I'd wake up, I'd, s I remember setting, whoa. Oh, the sniper up there. I cannot see him. I think, oh, uh, I didn't get, I, I don't know where he is. I can barely see him. Is he like... Oh, the aiming. I don't think, I don't know why I'm not hitting him. Waste more ammo on him than anyone else right now. Uh, I'm just gonna get in here. Oh, there's pigs around here. Great. Whoa, they're inside! Useful, great. My guy is tired. I think there's a flesh there, I think I saw. Yep. I want to use the 9x18 hollow point just because it's efficient. Um, are we out of hollow point? Yeah, we are. 
free stalkers, freedom speaking. If you want to live under respectable conditions in the zone without any obligations from the military like duty, then come to us. We're always happy to see your faces. I've actually never seen that message before. Listen to the soundscape though, right now. There's people over there fighting. I don't even think they're shooting at me. And this is Corden. This is one of the easier places in the zone. There's just so much going on at all times. Like I said before, you're not the main character. It's such a cool feeling. I, I wish Fallout 4 had this. I've been playing a little bit of Fallout 4 recently. They both missed. You guys, you guys are bad at your job. Bad at your job. Oh, God, jeez. Not that time. Where's the other one? Woo. Something big stomping around on there. Pig, I think. I think it's a pig. Oh, it's injured. It's an injured pig. Jump over the guardrail. Come on. Come on, piggy. Yeah, I figured it out. Dumb pig. Doesn't know how to use a guardrail. Yeah, like in Fallout 4, for example. I guess I will use a bandage. Jeez. Thought that bleed would stop, but it did not. Um... You don't really get, like, you get random patrols in Fallout 4, and you get stuff like that, but they, they they spawn in, like, within view. And because it's an open world, it's not like in this game where things spawn in. I, I don't think I've had something spawn in on me before in this game or within view. It's always out of view, and then also you've got simulated stalkers that have real lives, and they go in patrol, and they go to different places. I've had to do missions and deliver packages to people. And so it would give me like a GPS coordinate of where those people were. And I could actually see them moving around on the map. Which I just thought was so cool at the time. No, привет. It's always when they end the song I show up. No, What's up, Sid? What did you got? I wonder if like games like Fallout 4 will ever have the insane modding kind of huge expansions is this dead commenters you got you guys you guys usually got info like that what's an equivalent thing for fallout 4 and does it exist i don't think it would well, four and uh um, after you so it is a cloudy night with uh no moon coming through the clouds What's actually interesting about cloudy nights, if you're near a town, um, then light pollution reflects off the clouds, and usually it's actually pretty bright. If you're not near a town, though, and it's cloudy, it can get so, so dark that you actually can't see anything. Um, usually, some things, like a bit of starlight, leak through the clouds or something, but I was, uh, I was actually out with my brother Matt. He was, we were at his, like, Bunker HQ thing. Is that just a random sound? Oh no, there's pigs. I think they're coming. I forgot to buy 9 by 18 Oops. Ouch. That one was tough. Um, yeah, we were at his bunker HQ, though. He, we walked in, and he showed me some stuff, and then we walked out, and we were walking up to a white Toyota truck that, he's ha that he has. And when we walked out of this building, we were in... Whoa, gunshot? What the heck? Oh, that's my buddy. We shoot at zombies. Why are the zombies silent? The heck? Why are they quiet? That's weird, man. Are zombies quiet at night now? That's spooky. I couldn't hear them at all. Um, okay, sorry, continuing. Uh, we walk outside of the, the building and Matt's got his phone light on. And uh, I didn't have a phone on me at all. Matt turns off his phone light in expectation that we'd be able to see the truck, you know, because it's a white truck in front of us. Problem is, that area that we're in is a valley in pretty high elevation relative to the area around us in town. We're like 300 feet up or something, or not 300, like 200 feet above the town that we're near. At this, uh, at this certain altitude, and the clouds are the altitude that we're at. It was just a very low cloud. Whoa, look at those lights going off. I can spot what's going on. 
bandits. Somebody's shooting back. Let's go look. Let's go see what's going on. There's a zombie to the right. Um, yeah, so he turned his phone line off, and it was pitch black. I mean, I could not see a thing. We both just stopped and go, whoa. Because <laughs> it was just suddenly so obnoxiously dark. You couldn't see the white truck in front of us. Couldn't see anything. I've actually gone hunting a lot. I've gone airsofting and hunting in inclement weather. I've never experienced something like that before, where it was so dark I couldn't see an object like one foot in front of me. A white object too, of all things. Some bandits here. I had no chance, dude. Look how dark it is. Oh, that was who they needed to kill? Really? Okay. Yeah, the thing is too, if you're in that sort of circumstance where there is just there's no light to work with, um, you have to go white light or you have to illuminate in some way. If you're using night vision goggles, it's still going to be pitch black. Like you might actually be uh you, know, you aren't you aren't gonna be worse off, but there's just no light. It's gonna be about as about as good as your naked eyes. Which is just crazy. Like when it's a when it's a half moon, when there's any amount of light anywhere, night vision goggles work. But when there's no light at all, like let's say in a bunker, a basement, or a night like that where we're within a cloud that is so thick that there's just no light from the atmosphere coming in, dude, it, <laughs> I I really am curious what it would look like to be down there with night vision goggles. Cause I've got some RNVGs. They're Omni Seven or they're. they're they're basically like clean Gen 3 Green Foss NVGs um, from Steel Industries. Shout out, Steel, sponsor me, please. But uh, I even think those wouldn't... <laughs> I don't know if they'd help in that situation. Some of them want to get used by you. I think there's a lot of mercs here. Ah, Chicago. What the hell is that sound? <gasps> is that new sounds for the Psy Suckers? I gotta go listen to it. I wanna go listen to it. Dude, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, hey, you got it. Nice, buddy. I'm gonna go shamelessly steal your loot. That was just a normal bloodsucker, I think. Right? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, normal bloodsucker. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if I can get to the roof. Oh. What the heck? What? How did... Canned corn. That's what I'm here for. Check out this AK-12, though. That's like the old AK. This is like the Battlefield 4 AK-12, dude. No firearms. These are super rare. Like AK-12s like this. They were chambered. I think they they have the ability to be chambered in a 5.45 and 7.62, which is so weird. The Arma 3 AK-12 is 7.62. I might no be. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. I might be incorrect on that. I don't think. I don't think I am though. I think the real one can be 762 as well. Oh my gosh, these guys got killed at the front door. What a shame. Uh, he wants me to go kill a guy in the military? Okay, I wonder where that is. Oh, it's in the military base. All right, that'll be some fun. We're gonna, gonna go and uh, raid the military base. How much ammo we have now? 141 rounds there. A 387 on our pistol for FMJ. That's not, not terrible, you know? I think my guy is thirsty, ah. Yeah, we can also, if we've got the supplies, cook our food. Get some good eatings out of all this. Let me see. Do we have a we have a cooking kit? We got kerosene. Yep, we can cook our food. Um, let's make pseudo dog chops and lurker chops. And let's do yeah, let's do dog chops too. We have a ton of vodka for some reason. 
just make fat bacon out of that. Alright. Cool. Okay, well, we're in Yantar. So this place is usually relatively dangerous. Which is funny, we spawned in front of zombies and dogs. Um, yeah, I was going to comment we were in the loading screen. Cooking with vodka with the uh, high-end cooking kit like that is really, really nice because you can make these meals that have the green drop next to them. These are purified. So there's zone-produced meals like this that are just standard. You cook the food, you cook the meat, and that's it, right? Then you can make uh, stewed, which is water plus the meat. And then there's this, which is vodka plus the meat. I guess the vodka boils the radiation out or something. That would be gross. You know what? Should we make a... Uh, should I make a dish with vodka sometime and boil some steak in vodka? And then see what it tastes like? <laughs> Dude, that would not... That can't be real, right? Just pure vodka, nothing else. Ugh. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how that would taste. We're gonna try it at some point on the channel. We'll boil vodka. My my wife Chelsea, she's the cook. I'll ask her how that'll taste. But uh, yeah. So right now we're gonna finish the video off. It's almost sunrise, so our one day is almost up. We're gonna go and raid the military base down at Agroprom. So we're gonna run through Yantar here, try to get to Agro as quick as we can. You okay, buddy? Ooh. I think he's dead. He is dead. Oh, no. I was not here in time. I heard him screaming. The snork finished him off right before we got here. What scope is that? Whoa. I've actually... Wait, I don't think I've ever seen that scope on a Groza before. Let me get away from that thing. Collect the snork parts, too. And that loner got bested by two snorks. Not a surprise. I mean, we almost did multiple times this episode. Oh, it's like a PU scope, but grosser. <laughs> what does this take to? Does it take 762 by 39? Okay. It's empty. I don't want to waste ammo to shoot it. Let's let's waste one round. How about that? Just to hear what it sounds like. Okay, that sounds very similar to our AK. Unload that. Throw it out. Goodbye, little Groza. Someone else will pick you up. Don't you worry. I think another loner just picked him up. Okay. Gosh, there are a lot of anomalies here. Maybe they just hit the anomalies. I don't know. I don't know if AI can, if AI humans can. Definitely something going on up here. What is that sound? Oh. The guy I was supposed to deliver a package to just died. From this bloodsucker. save over here. There's a campfire this way. Yeah, it's on just around this corner. Hey, buddies. No, привет. No, привет. Alright, military base. Um, the front side, by the way, the, the east side. So this has, this is the military base down here. Oh. Wait, what the? He's over here. 
He moved. He moved out of the base. You know what? We're going to raid the military base anyways for loot. But I think this guy's running around. Yeah, there he is. One of those two is who I need to kill. He's downed. Both downed. Hamagita. I've heard that before. I don't know what that means. I can't talk to him. Just gotta kill him. This must be the guy I need to kill. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just business, man. I'm sorry. Whew. Okay. Let's see what you had. AKS. Kind of broken everywhere, though. Dang, man. The, the crying, it gets to you. But it's just business. It's just business. There's just factions fighting a useless war. Alright, so... Up ahead of us is the military base. Um, I'll show you the map here. You never want to approach the military base from the east because there's a Dishka tower, like a KS, KSV, I don't know what cord maybe, I don't know what turret it is, but it's on the east side in a tower and it will spray you if you enter any of this area. So don't go in this area. Very deadly. It's what I've experienced. Um, go in this side, northwest. You can sneak in. We're gonna go kill military guys. It's gonna get loud. You know what? We're taking suppressor off. We're going full walls to the ball, you know? I want this to be the climactic, action-packed ending of the video. So we're gonna sneak in here. There's anomalies. Still kind of dark. It's like a weird m version of morning where everything's very red. Oh, there. They heard me coming. God, the egg. They're not shooting me. They not know who I am yet? Well, I'm coming in. Oh gosh, that's a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, I get it. Jeez, man. That hit hurt very badly. Oh, the blur activated itself again. I did update my game. Between one or two of the last few scenes, so... Blur's back It's not great. I don't like the blur. I need a stim pack. Oh, I hate the blur. I hate it. I shot a sandbag. Thought it was a person. It's cool though, they they um they suppressed the last known, the last known position, so like he was suppressing this corner because he didn't know where I was. Still like just pretty neat. It's just cool. Co oh, okay. As always, timing is impeccable. Just gonna blink that. That's fine. Yoink. AK ammo. Yoink some of that stuff too, sure, why not? That guy's arms are really long. Look at his arms. Grabbing this. I don't I grabbed something else too. I don't know what I grabbed. Something big. Okay, let's run. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's way too bright. Oh. Never mind. Too bright. Ooh, the flashlight animation was quicker too. Main building? Ouch. I thought he died. Oh. Gosh. I think I made the banger. Oh, the blur. Why the blur? Oh, no. They're all coming in. They're all coming in. Wait, 
Oh, though, no, those are mercs. Uh. Look, man, I didn't know. I don't know why you're here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is hostile. I guess we're hostile to mercs now too. We're ending the episode by by backstabbing a faction of ours. I want to get upstairs. You know, the mercs are not nice guys anyways. It's fine. We're clear sky, but they're not cool. Woo. Still a lot of guys outside. I'm surprised mercs are here. I've never seen them here before, I don't think. Updates are going so fast through this episode alone, because this is actually the next day in real life. Through this episode alone, the mod pack has updated three times. <laughs> or, sorry, two times. It's got a hot fix. Oh, I missed. Trying to shoot through the windows. Is it done? That was a fast emission. Yeah, it is. Wait, just... Who's talking? What the? Who's talking? What the heck? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know who's talking. Maybe he's upstairs. And I'm just hearing vertical audio. What is this, Tarkov? Huh. The roof is empty. Well. Alright, guys, I think it's safe to say there's a few stragglers left, but I'm gonna call it there. We'll be able to clean up. We raided a little military base. Got some good kills in. Probably a lot of dead bodies they need to go loot to get some weapon parts off of them. But uh, for now, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.